Hello to the future. It is the night before we start the awesome love tour. It is 10 minutes till 11 about. Hi, Jade. Jade is stressing out about things that are not done yet and the house that is not quite clean yet. Uh, I don't do videos this late at night. Well, you're doing one right now. When we experience obstacles in our lives, it defines us. It can define you as a quitter, or it can define you as someone who overcomes. If we don't share our testimony, then we've just experienced all those hardships for nothing. But when we tell our story, it gives hope to other people that are facing the same things. It also gives us hope the next time we're experiencing an obstacle. It allows us to see and to remember what God did for us before. It gives us hope that He will bring us through again. Well, it's been a while since I've been in this situation, but we are officially broke down alongside the road on Route 95 in Virginia. Finally got where we're going for tonight. So, in the morning, we will begin again. Try to get this fuel pump taken care of tomorrow. I am stuck here at the RV repair garage. They can't get to it till next Tuesday. It is now Friday, so we're looking at like four days sitting here. I'm gonna see if maybe I can um, possibly drop this tank myself here today. <laughs> so the plan is to cut a hole in the floor here and go through the top to get to the fuel pump. Let's see if it works. Maybe 30 seconds. Hello. Hello to the future. Hello, um, Hannah. All right, let me see this. Okay, good morning. It is, it is Saturday morning, February 6th, and we have been stranded for, what is this, our third day? Fuel pump is in. Right there it is. It is mounted in the tank. Back pump was not the problem. It was actually the pump um, that we got originally last night. There's two pumps on this RV. So there's a, a low pressure, which is in the fuel tank, and there is a high pressure, which is up here. And this is the one that we just replaced. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a crank and see what happens. Everybody ready? Yes. There we have it. All right, guys, here we go. The pearl is in the road again. We are on our way to Surfside Beach, South Carolina. In the pearl. All right. 7:30 on Saturday evening, we were on the road again, leaving Virginia on our way to Surfside Beach, South Carolina. We made it to the service the next morning with 15 minutes to spare. When he brought the Israelites out of Egypt, right away he brought them to the Red Sea. And it was an impossible situation. But God made a way. He opened up the sea so the Israelites could walk through on dry ground. It was an impossible situation. But God brought them to that right away so that he could show them that he could be trusted. There's nothing that he can't do If you just hold on, hold on Our God will pull you through Vanna, what was your favorite thing so far on the trip? Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> well, we didn't go to Hawaii yet.
currently in Waco, Texas at uh, Magnolia Marketplace. Um, if you guys watch HGTV and the show uh, Fixer Upper with Chip and Joanna Gaines, this is their store right here. What do you think, babe? Pretty cool. cool. Pretty cool. What do you think, Jayla? <laughs> Ready to go back to sleep? <laughs> We had another blowout. It was actually the uh, the spare tire that I put on earlier today. Ended up getting two new tires and uh, got them on here. And we are on the way to Lake Worth today. There we go. There is the sign. We are entering Lake Worth, Texas. It is 6:36, and the show starts at 7 o'clock. So we are getting here just in time to start the show. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing tonight? We are putting on Texas. Rub it in there. All it's right. the Lone Star State. Yes. You want to say hi to the camera, Vanna? Hi! You want to rub that in there a little more, Vanna? Alright. I'm Jay. Bye. We're in Eubank, Kentucky. And we had a service here last night. What an incredible service. And uh, this that was the last concert on uh, on this leg of the tour.